So, in your opinion, what was Emil's influence in film music? Well, in any music, first of all, he was a superior musician, which really wouldn't count as much if he wasn't such a good guy. A bad guy who's a superior musician is going to work, and you will put up with his whatever. But this is the sweetest man on the planet, and he's this fine musician, so he was loved by everyone. Each section has a, a couple of, and each period of time has a person that, that is, uh, stands out. Certain names, just like Max Steiner was the head of his, yeah. uh, Alfred Newman was the head of his studio. Yeah. And they had different people in d different times. Well, in this period of time, when Emil was around, Emil was the percussionist that every percussionist knew yeah. about. To be known is, 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 is an accident. I mean, who knows why that happens? It doesn't really matter. But, but the point was that, that he was a good guy. Came from New England, I'm sure. Yeah. Along with uh, Cipriano and, and... Joe Picaro. Picaro, Joe. I mean, yeah. the two of them. They are buddies. Big buddies. Yeah. And on every session, I mean, yeah. that was in the percussion section. So he helped expand your thought of percussion, your ideas about he percussion? He was the go-to guy. Not just for me, just for everybody. I mean, because it was a known fact. I mean, if you wanted the best percussionist in town, you talked about Emil Richards. He knew everything. Yeah. He did everything, and he was a wonderful guy. Yeah. He was the sweetest man on the planet. Uh, we just miss him. Yeah. That's all.